quite live everywhere, but I'm live. Hey, Clan. Hey, Clan. Good morning. Good morning or good afternoon. Depending on where you are in the world. Depending on where you at. Depending on where you at, it's morning. It might be afternoon. Hey, Clan. What up? What up? Happy Friday. <clears throat> Happy Friday, everybody. I'm going to try. I'm going to attempt to work and talk to y'all for real today. For real, for real. Y'all, so I'm going to just tell y'all the truth. <clears throat> I'm going to tell y'all the truth about some things today. Since I'm a sad, it's like I just seek out the truth. I want to know the truth, Miss T. I want to know the truth, Jay. I want to know the real. I want to know what's really, really going on. And um, today I went to a to a funeral. Today I went to a funeral. Shout out to the ancestors. Shout out to the ancestors, y'all. I went to a funeral today, and seeing all of my family and um. Being there, seeing the whole situation, I just want to tell y'all the truth. I'm, I'm just going to be real today. I'm going to say some things. I'm going to say some things that other people may not say. I'm going to say some things, Nadine, that nobody really wants to talk about. Jay! Jay! Congratulations, y'all. Hit the likes. Come in and hit the likes. Jay, let's start it off. Hit the likes, y'all, for Jay. Got that first thing, Jay. You nervous? Are you in the academy? If you, Maya, you got an appointment too? Hold on, y'all. Oh, do we got to go to church today? What? No, I, choir, choir got to get in here today. I, we, we too smooth now. I came into the deployments. I ain't even know. Choir, get in here. The choir is coming in, Jay. Miss Barry, y'all hit the likes for Miss Barry. Y'all, we got appointments everywhere. Share this live. Share this live. Share this live. Is there an echo? It's probably me clapping, Wong. Is it an echo? Let me know. Let me know. Are you live on YouTube too? Are you watching me on YouTube too? Congratulations, Miss Barry. Yo, Jay, you got a deployment. You say you're nervous. Are you in the academy? Are you in the academy doing auto for pilot? Yes. Hit the likes. Is there an echo, y'all? Y'all still hearing the echo? You in the academy, Jay? That's going to be your lifeline. That's going to be your lifeline. Is it auto or is it property? What you doing? That's going to be your lifeline. Great moves. Great moves. Great moves. Great moves. We not live everywhere. We live somewhere. TikTok, YouTube, Facebook. Great moves. It's echoing. Is everybody getting an echo? Property for all state. Let me go out and come back in. I'm gonna be right back, y'all. I'm gonna be right back. Be right back. Deployments. Deployments. Deployments going out. Deployments going out, y'all. This is awesome. This is awesome. Here, let's get back live on TikTok. Let me do it again. Let's try this one more again. Let's try this again. Let me know. Jade, you say it's no echo on yours. Is there a code for your book? Where do you get it? You go get my book. Go get my book at 100kadjuster.com. 100. Corey, good, good afternoon. Good morning. We got deployments, baby. Oh, I got, I got messages. Hold up. I got messages. You go get my book at 100kadjuster.com. 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 What up, Jack? Jack, I'm glad you're here. I'm about to tell the truth today. They didn't send me about a million messages. Y'all, this lady, she been, she been asking. She was down my throat. I sent her the release. Now she's taking 10 years to get back to me. And now, now she wants the money. Just now sending the release. Yo, Jack, I'm going to tell all the truth today. I'm going to tell all the truth today. B Cab, what up? Nick, are y'all getting the echo still out of me? No echo. The echo's gone yellow. 
Cool, 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 Jay. Yeah, you get the book at 100kadjuster.com. There is no code for the book. The book is $97 to make you 100K. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I tell you the truth. I can't lie. My Miss Barry, so what you say you doing? Just finished property inside adjuster class for pilot last week. What I tell y'all? Waiting to see if you passed the test. You know you did. Waiting on my license number. Should I still apply for firms? I have the cert. That I took exactly in history and construction, property management, and insurance. I also live in a state that doesn't have an adjuster's license. Sorry for so no, 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 no. Hit the likes. Am I heated? No, I'm not heated at all. <laughs> I'm just about to tell y'all the truth. I'm just gonna tell y'all the truth today. We're gonna talk about some truth today. Just got deployed with pilot. Y'all, the deployments is going out. Deployments is going out. Hit the like, Shay. I got the choir in here. Y'all gonna make me go get the robe in a minute. I'm trying to work, Bricks. I was trying to work and talk to y'all and everybody getting deployed. I was trying... Matter of fact... Choir! Y'all wanna go to church? Let's go. If we going to church... If we going to church, let me get dressed like we going to church. Hey, Clint! Hold on. Now I'm messing up the choir. I ain't got dressed for church. If we go in the church, I might as well get ready. A claim, saints. A claim, saints. A claim, saints. Hit the like, saints. Oh, it's up and it's stuck, Shay. It's up and it's stuck, babe. It's up and it's stuck. Yura, good morning. As soon as I get the A on the test, I'm getting an, on another deployment calling it now. Get it, Maya. Get it, get it. It's it's a it's deployments going up, y'all. Jackie, scat pack back. Scat pack back in this thing. Pass auto academy test with pilot officially on a roster. Get it done. Hit the likes of Don. We there, baby. Y'all wanted to go to church. That's all y'all had to say. That's all y'all had to say. Hey, Clay, y'all wanted to go to church. That's cool. That's cool. We can go to church today. We telling the truth. I might as well hop in the pulpit. I might as well hop in the pulpit when we're going to church today. So let me make some announcements. Hey, Clay. Hey, Clay, Don. Hey, Clay. Hit the likes if you can hear me. A claim. I'm going to try and work and talk to y'all today. A claim, Saints. We got a couple of announcements. Pilot is bringing them on, baby. Pilot is bringing them. I see, I see. Wom. You're. <laughs> You're. Sean. Sean Rice. Y'all want y'all to go share this live. This is probably going to. I always say this is probably going to be one of the realest lives I've ever done. I'm about to tell y'all the truth. I'm about to tell y'all the truth. I don't think there's no point in lying. It's no point in line. Nick, it ain't no point in line. It ain't no point in line. Harass them. At, chase them like they said something about your mama. You hear me? Chase them like they said something about your mama. Do you hear me? You made me get a Justin Pro last week. All done. Sean, hit the likes of Sean. I love to hear it. Love to see it. Love to see it. Love to see it. You're a yup. Chase them like they said something about your mama, Juan. Chase them like they said something about your mama. Do you hear me? You hear me? Chase them. Call the firms. Harass them. Harass them. It's your job. Yeah, I got to tell y'all some truth today. Let me get some announcements out the way. Academy members, where my owls at? Who? Where my academy members at? Who? Where my owls at? Who? How do you contact the, them about deployments after hours? You can leave a message. You can send an email. Some firms are opened after hours. Who? Renfro. Who? Some of them. Some of them. A claim. So, Owls, we're cooking the story is here. 
Where my owls at? Any academy members in here? If you just got a deployment, go get in the academy now. If you just got deployed and you've never been deployed before, go get in the academy right now. Um, today we have a live Q and A. I got in calls at nine p.m. No, Jackie, I know somebody that got deployed in the middle of the night. Aquarius Moon in this thing. Jay, Nick, who? We got a live Q and A today. The email went out this morning. The link is also in the Academy A claim. Alacrity and Ebrels call. Who? Who? What I say? What I've been saying, Mister Miss Incognito. Thank you for the follow, y'all. Hit me with the likes. Share this live. Academy members, we have a live Q&A today. With, uh, we have a guest. Desiree Marie is going to be on the uh, on the Q&A live on the... Uh, man, I can't even get my... I'm so excited for y'all, and I want to tell y'all this information. June. This is our June live Q&A for Academy members tonight, Sherry. We're going to have Desiree Marie on with us. Another owl. Another owl. Who? Answering questions. We're going to talk about what we learned this month. We're going to talk about the upcoming month of July. We're going to have a lot to talk about. This is at 6 p.m., Academy members. Link is in the Academy. Email went out today. I will see you there. A claim, come with questions. Come with questions. If you're on a deployment, come with questions. Come with questions. Ruffle had a virtual auto deployment for that. Who is this for military or civilian deployment job? Miss Incognito, I'm glad you asked. Let me break it down. Let me introduce myself because I know we got some new folks in the room. And you join me on the best day to come. You came here on the best day. You excited for it, Juan? You're, we're going to be in that thing, 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. My name is Soleil Devine. I'm a licensed insurance adjuster. I became licensed in 2017 because I found out that without a degree, you can get in this industry and make six figures. Make six figures adjusting claims for all kinds of different catastrophes, whether it's property, auto, boats, uh, crop claims, furniture claims, you name it, you can be an adjuster for all kinds of different things. I got in this thing to become a catastrophe adjuster because I found out you can make six figures without a degree. So I jumped head first in in 2017 and into this world of adjusting. Yo, Jackie, we came... Jack was in this thing before me. Jack was in this thing before me. <clears throat> Jack, you know how hard it used to be to get into this and run it up because there's like... There's no blueprint. No, not the PAs. We're IAs, independent adjusters. Independent adjusters. Independent adjusters work for the carrier. Public adjusters work for the insured. A claim. So I found out you can make six figures in this. I jumped into this whole brand new world, figured out that there's a lot of gatekeeping that goes on. There's a lot of misdirection, but there is a lot of money. A claim. But it's not going to be simple for you. It's not going to be easy unless somebody guides you through it. Last year, I saw what was going on with the economy. Life is life, and ain't it, y'all? Can y'all believe how much things cost? <laughs> Can you believe how much a car is? A basic car. I ain't even talking about nothing with no frills on it. You see how much these houses are? Do you see how much this rent is? I saw how, what was happening, and I feel like there's a lot of people that could get in this industry and do really well but they just have no awareness of it. They don't know what to do, especially when they get on these deployments. Here's the life of the newly deployed. A deployment does not mean you're physically going to leave anywhere. A deployment means that you're being sent on a position. This is not the military, but they use this terminology. Lord Trucker, thank you for the gift. Thank you for the gift. A deployment simply means you're being put on a job. It's just adjuster terminology. If you have not done so yet, go follow, go subscribe to my podcast, Adjust Your Way to 100K. I have a whole episode that breaks down adjuster lingo. But today, y'all, I want to talk about some truth. So I want to tell the truth. Can I tell y'all the truth? I always ask y'all that. Can I tell y'all the truth? Do y'all really want to know the truth? Because yesterday I said some things to the Academy members in our live. Um, our, our, we do weekly lunches with me on Tuesdays and Thursdays. And I came in with steel toe boots on and I didn't let nobody know. Their feet was out. I ain't know. Thank you, Lord Chuck. I love the gifts. I love the gifts. I love the gifts. I love them. I love them. I love them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I said some things. I was telling them about five reasons that people self-sabotage, people hold themselves back. And it touched some nerves. 
it touched some nerves. I'm not here to lie to you. I'm not here to make people feel good. Like this industry as an adjuster is going to bring everything out of you. It's going to bring everything out of you. Entrepreneur Kev, y'all hit the likes of Kev. Get through it. Get through it, Kev. So remote for certain disasters in certain areas. So as an adjuster, you can work in the field or you can work from an office or you can work from home remotely. <clears throat> I'm a desk adjuster. I've never touched a roof. I've never been on a house. I've never been out in the field to, on an inspection. Lord Trucker getting it too. Kev getting it. Lord Trucker getting to it. Um, I've never climbed a roof. So I, I've been working remotely since 2020. <clears throat> but there are some adjusters that go to centralized locations like an office building and work. There are some adjusters that work in the field. They climb roofs. They got ladders. All of that. All of that, Jack. We ain't doing that. What up, Third Eye Jedi? Sean Trey, what up? Haven't caught me in a while. You caught me on the on the perfect day because I'm about to spill some, some tea. I'm about to tell y'all some real truths. A, 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 climb that roof, Aquarius Moon. I couldn't even get it out. Climb that roof. Climbing a roof might get you a whole bag like you've never seen in your life. I just released another podcast today. This one is with Desiree Marie. She's also an adjuster here on TikTok. She's on YouTube, IG. Um, she made $24,000 her first month of being deployed climbing roofs, and she had no license. She had an emergency license. What up? What up? <clears throat> so let me tell y'all some truths. Today, um, your sis does it. That's what's up. That's what's up. That's what's up. Today, y'all, I went to a funeral. I went to a funeral uh shout out to the ancestors and um i, I was uh you know you get real reflective at funerals or at least i do a eh, claim I, I, you get real reflective right and i'm looking around at my family i'm, I'm looking around at what everything that's going on and you know we're getting older <clears throat> and and you know at first you can't really see it right thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you oh i love this one i like that one <laughs> the necklace you know, y'all, we getting older. I'm about to be 39 this year. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Thank you, Cook and Destroy. The great ancestors. Give love to them. But I, as I was I was there, I was just being reflective. Old. <laughs> Old and cold, Jack. <laughs> Old and cold, Jack. <laughs> Claire. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Lord Truck, I love the gifts. Thank you. I can't get on the roof. I got vertigo. Sit at the desk then, Nick. Sit at the desk. Sit at the desk. Y'all, but I was reflecting. <clears throat> I was reflecting on the gifts is gift, and I know um, you're. <laughs> I was reflecting on what, what the ancestor Elaine told me, and um, I remember talks with her, and she was telling me once about how um, she, she got married, and she moved hence ago. All right, Jack. I'm Scat Pack in here acting up already. <laughs> Hint to go. You make 90000 in a month. I have Hint to go too. I want to be on the roof and get the get to Lord Trucker. Lord Trucker. I'm about to tell you the truth that's going to get you the bag today. Today, I'm about to tell you the truth. I'm already 39. Trust me, it's overrated. Yes. Man, Jedi, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm looking around at all of my family. I'm looking around at all my family and I'm just like, man, we getting older and I'm seeing, you see life catching up. Can I say that? I'm going to be real today. I ain't got time to play with nobody's feelings. We can be sentimental. We can figure somebody to say it a nice way. We getting old and I'm seeing age kept up, catch up with my people. I'm seeing bad habits catch up with my people. I'm seeing my people arrive with canes. I'm seeing my people arrive with, in wheelchairs. I'm seeing my people arrive with oxygen masks. To hell with the niceties. But when I said I was going to stop eating meat and start taking better health uh, care of myself, I think it was 2013, we started juicing. Then we stopped eating meat in 2017. <clears throat> when, you did, when we did that, people laughed. People laugh, but I'm seeing my people arrive in wheelchairs. I'm seeing them arrive in, with canes. I'm seeing people with oxygen masks. I'm seeing people barely walking in here. 
We got to do something different. Javier, what up? We got to do something different. And I'm remembering what the ancestor Elaine told me. She said that she got married and she moved from her hometown to the coast, to the East Coast. And she got to see how all these different people lived. And it opened her eyes up. It opened her eyes up that there was something different out there, that there was a different way to raise your family. It was a different way to run your house. Can we go back to the 90s, Jedi? <laughs> I want to go back to the prices of the houses in the 90s. Let me get that. Reciprocity map, adjuster pro, NIP order purchase, no doubt. There you go. There's the truth right there. You want reciprocal license? Adjuster pro has a reciprocity map, NIPR, Sircon, and I give you all the options in the book. We not ready, Shangla. I'm glad you said that. We're not ready. I see a lot of, we're aging and we're not ready for what's coming. We're not ready for what's coming, Val. Can I say that? Because not only am I seeing my people arrive like this, I know that they don't, come on now, can we be real, y'all? Can I be real with y'all today? Because I really don't have time to really figure out a way to say it nice. I'm trying to work. I want to talk to y'all. We got a live Q&A later on the day. I got to go help my fam out in a little bit. We might as well just go on and say it, right? I know we're not prepared financially. I already know we're not. I already know we're not prepared, and I'm tired of it, y'all. I'm tired of it. Can I say that? I'm tired of it. We got to get right. And when you're impoverished, it weighs on your health. Did y'all know that? It doesn't just weigh on, oh, I can't go get them new shoes. No, I got to stay in the hood. I got to stay in a roach infested house. I got to stay where, you know, there's pollution and contamination because I don't have enough money to make it out. Can I say that? You just started working for Safe Farm, but you ready for the big bucks? What up, Raven? You got your Texas all lines right now? You got it right now? Our society is going, it's, it's, it's messed up, Jedi. I see it. I'm watching it. I'm seeing it, Marlon. When I get my family together, I'm seeing it. And I'm over it. Raven, congratulations. I know you're ready for the big bucks. While you're there with Big Red, suck in all the information. And get ready to make your transition. AK, oh, A claim your transition into the IA world if that's what you want to do. Mrs. Bones, what up? So I'm looking at my family and I'm like, man, we got to take care of our health way more. And I'm saying everybody, we got to make it a bigger priority. And when you get into this job, <clears throat> when you get into this job, you're going to understand stress. You're going to understand what it does to you mentally, physically, emotionally. This money does not come without a cost. A claim, all cat is hiring. Yes, I'm in claims, but ready to be a desk adjuster. I feel you, Raven. So the first thing I tell you to do, let's be truthful. This is a stressful job. The first thing I tell you to do is get your house in order. Your mental house, your physical house, your body. Get everything in order because this, this industry is going to stretch you. Can I say that? This industry is going to stretch you. It's going to stretch your pockets. You're going to make some money, but it's going to stretch you physically. And some things you cannot come back from a claim. So you want to hear about burnout? You want to hear about, you know, I know there's a lot of people that talk about, well, I heard it's stressful. Yeah, believe everything you heard. It is stressful. It can be very stressful. You're dealing with a lot of catastrophic situations. Let's be real. What happens after a hurricane? Who's going to put everything back together? Who do they call first? They call us. My mental was all over the place on my first appointment. I feel you, Nick. That's why we created the Academy. I created the Academy for Adjusters so they don't have to go through what I went through. Like, I understand how big of an opportunity this is for everyone. It was a huge opportunity for me. I wanted to be great. I wanted to do well, but I did not want to waste my money on training with people that didn't have my best interest at heart. They were just out for the money. Man, it'll drive you up a wall, Jack. I've never been this type of stressed out. I've never experienced this type of stress. I've never seen this type of stress before. And I've, I've wanted to do well. I've been on a deployment where I'm working from home, man. I need help. I really, But no one in the screen is answering me. There's no trainer that's helping me. What do I do? Ain't the work having does not come easy. It does not. It does not. It does not. Lord Trucker, you get in the academy, go to the T-H-E 100K Academy.com. The 100K Academy.com. It's a $35 monthly subscription. It has information in there. The first, the very first module is the claims process. If you are deployed or if you're trying to get deployed, get into the academy. 
really understand and get to know what we really, really do as an adjuster. Adjuster Pro is getting you familiar. It's getting you to pass the test. But now what? You don't, <clears throat> excuse me, you don't know how to work a claim. You don't even know what the first step is. We talk about it in the academy. I tell you how to deal with PAs. I tell you how to deal with water mitigation claims. Um, we have some great people in the academy this month. We've got some even greater guests planned for July. Um, it's just a bunch of information, real practical day-to-day -day information you need to work claims because you're going to get into this with no knowledge. They're not going to train you. Don't think that they're going to hold your hand. This is independent, independent adjusting. We're going to tell the truth today. Hey, claim y'all still with me? Y'all still with me? Anything worth having doesn't come easy. It's not going to come easy. Y'all, Nick, I gave y'all what I needed. I gave y'all what I needed. Somebody just got the book. Somebody just got the book. You're... It's like doing some things. We got some weather stuff going on today. Y'all still with me though? Okay. I worked in claims auto and life for State Farm. I believe I can do it. You, I know you can do it. I ain't going to believe. I know you can do it. Y'all wouldn't believe the people that be on these deployments. Justin. Okay, so Leigh, I see you got your nails popping on. Justin. Just, this just in. <laughs> what up, Jess? What up, Jess? I work too hard, baby. I mean, I, I might as well. <laughs> Working on my resume and tweet. Get it done, Wong. Get it done. Get it done. Can I tell y'all something else? When y'all get on these deployments, you're going to have to figure things out for yourself. Asia in this thing. You're, you're going to have to figure things out. You're going to have to figure out how to maneuver your life around a deployment. You're going to have to figure out how to maneuver your life around working 7-12s, seven, seven days a week, 12 hours a day. How do you save the favorites? <laughs> they be asking the craziest questions like, what, Jack? So somebody messaged me. The site again, the site for the academy is the, that was you, Bricks. Bricks, that was you that just got the book. D100kacademy.com. Bricks just got the book. Lord Trucker, the, the website for the academy is the the 100 kacademycom If you go to the link, wherever you are, I think you're on TikTok, right? If you go to the link on my page, it's there as well. The the 100 kacademycom We do th uh, three modules a month, and then we do a live Q&A. Uh, Bricks, welcome to the academy. Welcome, welcome. No, I think Bricks got the book. Bricks got the book, Wom. Um, that's what it was. Yeah, she an owl. Whoo. <laughs> The100kacademy.com. You're going to have to maneuver your life, y'all, around working like this. Working 7, seven 12. <clears throat> working 7, 12. Working seven days a week, working 12 hours a day to get this cash. It's not going to come from nothing. You get the book at 100kadjuster.com. Got my first deployment, Tim. Tim Chick, hit the lights, y'all. Another one. The deployments are going out, baby. What I tell y'all? We 30 days into hurricane season. Haven't had a hurricane even touch us yet. We've had two named storms. But we've had a, a crazy season, a crazy month for tornadoes, winds, floods all across the U.S., that is affecting the claims departments. This is why I tell you to call, 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 call. And people, it's been at least, I've been counting, at least four people on this live. I've only been live for 28 minutes. Four people came in and said they got deployments. Four people. Hit the lights. Congratulations, y'all. Give me some details on these deployments. Who who, who you with if you want to share that? How much is it? You can brag to us. We ain't counting your pockets, you dig? We just want to celebrate you. How much is it? What's the hours? Timber says seven tens, seven tens. That's what's up. I get what that is. Seven days a week, 10 hours a day. When you work, you work. You're going to be working. I'm not going to lie to you. And how many licenses do y'all got? Juan wants to know that. Can I call without having my license? Yes. Um. So you can call without having your license, but you probably ain't going. It might not really come through for you. Today's podcast that I released with Desiree Marie is uh, she got her first deployment on a uh, temporary license, right? 
but they don't even really like doing temporary licenses. Nick got eight licenses and got deployed. Um, so and then after that month, she was released, probably because of that emergency license situation. So if you have to wait a few days until the license is fully active, or have you gone on to Sircon to see if your license number is active? Because they're not gonna necessarily send you an email. Whereas B says, congrats, congrats, congrats. The best claims, 34 an hour. Woo! Woo! Timber, no experience. Word acquired. Word acquired. Sergio, what up? You got Texas and Louisiana, Jade? Jay just two and got deployed. Just two and got deployed, Jay. Timber say 34 hour 51 overtime, baby. Seven tenths. Do the math. 12 licenses. Timber got 12. Um, Timber has 12. So 10, 8, and it sounds like two, Jay. That's it, Jay. You just got licenses under review. Okay, okay, okay. Why you waiting? You can start, you know, getting your your profile set up, right? Because a lot of people got different answers for this. I say go ahead and just push forward. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing forward with it. Just stab two years before becoming an IA. You gonna have a great time. Congratulations! I'm calling immediately. I have five, and I thought it wasn't enough. Wow! Get to it, babe. I'm about to put this live on hold and start. Do it, Nick. Do it, Nick. Do it, Nick. I'm telling y'all, it's no way you're gonna do this without calling. It's no, it's no way this is gonna happen without calling. It ain't no way this is gonna happen without calling. Two licenses. Jay, salute. After review, we accept the amount. I bet you would accept the amount after you reviewed it. I'm doing work, y'all. I'm doing work while we talking. I provided you the release. I'm going to do work while we talking. A claim. As for my voicemail, the release was previously forwarded. Yeah, you already got the release. Womp. Jay, you doing the you doing the thing, Jay. You doing the thing. You doing the thing. Two licenses and on a deployment. MG 10 so far, but not still not deployed. MG, tell us about your process. Let's be real about your process. Can y'all be real with me? Because I can't help you if y'all not real with me. If y'all tell me you calling the firms every day and you know you know you're not, you're not hurting me. I'm not gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be you. So just you might as well tell me the truth. How do you get all the search? How much for each search? Love, Miss Cognito. The certs are free. <laughs> Let me put my robe back on. Let me put my robe back on. Miss Cognito knew, y'all. Miss Cognito knew. It's a lot of them that are free. They used to be paid. Go get the book, Miss Cognito. You get the books, you get the search through the through the firms. Go get the book. Go get the book because it's going to tell you exactly where you need to go. It's going to tell you the whole situation, this whole strategy. 100kadjuster.com. Free, babe. Free. <laughs> you should do good. Timber's going to do great. Timber's going to do great. Timber's going to do awesome. Don't let them <laughs> put you on proximity, though. Timber's going to do great. I have your book, and, a, and I'm on a lot of rosters. MG, cool. The book is called Adjust. Your way to 100K because I'm going to teach you how to adjust from your situation into this career of insurance adjusting and make a bag. MG, you're on the rosters, right? Are you calling them every day? Are you fully set up on those rosters? Do they have all of your information for each and every single roster that you are on? Not, not getting on doing that portal, that adjuster portal thing. I told y'all I don't particularly trust that. I don't know that it's completely sound. But I mean, literally on every single roster, do they have everything that they need from you? Are there any holdups? A claim. Check that. Then are you calling them? And then how many licenses do you really, really have? And where are those licenses? Is it in the places that I told you to get them? How many certs do you have? Have you uploaded those certs with the companies? Do they know that you have those certs? Really ask yourself these questions. Don't feel no ego in it. Don't feel no shame. Just really ask yourself, is all of these things done? Because there's people getting deployments. 
My BD gets texts daily to deploy to Ohio, but he don't want any of them. It's all good, okay? When you start getting texts and you start seeing firms hire, you need to be calling all of the firms. That's why I tell y'all in the book, get on the multiple multi-firm strategy. You want to sign up with all of them. You got to call them every single day. Like it's a job. Like they said something about your mama. Like for real, y'all got to y'all got to take this personal. If you don't call them, can I tell y'all a story? Let me tell y'all a story about this. <clears throat> yeah, you do, MG. Go ahead and join the academy. The100kacademy.com. Let me put it in the chat for you. The100kacademy.com. I'm going to tell y'all a story real quick. So I, I got a message from somebody yesterday or maybe the day before or something like that. I hope they on this live so I can explain it to them in real time. Because I and we ain't got time to lie. What we got to lie for? We ain't got time to lie. Hey, clan, let's be for real with each other, right? <clears throat> so this person sent me a message and said that they've been licensed since 2020. Y'all, in 2020, we had 14 hurricanes hit the United States. It was a very busy year. My busiest year by far working as an adjuster was 2020 into 2021. You're seven this thing. You're 14 hurricanes hit the United States in 2020. If you told me you started working in 2020 and you didn't get on no storms, your strategy is trash. Throw it away. It's not right. A claim. Who? Something's wrong. And a lot of people don't want you to tell them, don't really want to listen to what to do. They just want you to validate that the, the things that they have done is enough and kind of validate their mediocrity. I can't do that for you. I can't do that for you. It's people who got the book, figured out the strategy, and got to work, and they deployed. They lying to me, Sev. I don't know who lying, but they ain't lying to me. They lying to themselves. Who? It's not going to hurt me if I say go do all these things and then you don't do it, but you come in alive and say you did it, but you know you really ain't doing it and you're not successful. Got to look at yourself. Got to look at your process. But if you got licensed in 2020 with the 14 hurricanes that hit the U.S., I got a friend that started a deployment in 2020 and she's literally still on the same deployment. It's been three years. Something's wrong. <clears throat> the book is $97 to make you 100K, Lord Trucker. $97 to make you 100K. So I, I ask this person the, the usual questions I start asking when people tell me they're having problems getting deployments. How many rosters you on? How many licenses you got? What search you got? Are you really, really caught? Do you understand what your job is as an adjuster? Like you're already an adjuster when you get that license, but do you understand what you've done? Do you understand the magnitude of that license? Do you understand the responsibility as in now you are an, a business owner? As in now this adjuster's license is your business and how you work this business is by calling these firms, by being proactive, by pressing the issue every single day until you get something. Do you know that? Have you ever done that before? Do you know what that looks like? I break all of that down in the book. But this person told me that they... They said, and this is how I know they lying. <laughs> you know how I know y'all lying? <laughs> People don't be telling me the truth. <laughs> the questions I ask, the, the answers y'all give me don't make no sense. <laughs> Tony S. currently in staff, plan to stay on for six months and transition into independent. You think six months is necessary or should three suffice? Tony, you talking to an owl. What up? Who? Can I tell y'all this? When y'all ask me questions, I'm going to give you an owl-like answer. Who? Guess what? I came in this game with zero experience. All I had was information from Adjuster Pro and the certifications I got. Um, I had zero experience in this, and I jumped in, and I figured it out. So when you say you're working staff, and do I think you need to work X, Y, Z amount of time to really get this and get into it? I don't know. You might be an owl like me, who, and could do it right out the gate. See, that's an individual situation, an individual question. I can't really answer it for you. But what I do is I help people that get into this and want to go independent. I give you all the information I can so that when you do get into this, this seat, you stay in it. A claim. I have an academy. I got a book. I got a podcast. I give you all the information I can even think of in all different type of mediums in order to be successful as an adjuster. A claim. So I told this person. I said, hey, how many licenses you got? They told me they got a few licenses. They told me like five licenses, but they were scattered. 
it, it didn't really, it kind of made sense for a couple of them, but a couple of them didn't make sense, right? <clears throat> then I said, okay, are you calling the firms? How many rosters are you on? They said, I'm on some reserve rosters. No doubt, Tony. Who? You good. I know you can do it. Um, they're on some reserve rosters, and I was like, Yeah, they ain't on no damn rosters. <laughs> can I say that? You're not come on, Wom. Like, why me? Why play with me? <laughs> they're not really on no rosters for real. They're not calling them like they're supposed to. They said they were like uh state farm certified. There's other certs out there, there's other ways, y'all. And look, sometimes if you're not successful in what you're doing. Just like the ancestor Elaine told me, sometimes you got to move and get a different perspective. Y'all hear me? Sometimes you got to move to get a different perspective. What up, Kelsey? Yeah, hit the likes of Kelsey. Why is it so hard to get flood certified? When you say hard, what does that mean? What does that mean when you say hard? There's a process to everything in this industry. So to be a flood adjuster, you have to have four years of experience. But who... Like everything else in this industry, there is a back door. There's a different way. There's somebody you can call. They can change and bend the rules if they want you to do it and if the demand is there. Uh, you can get into flood as a brand new adjuster if you go be a mentee under certain firms. For instance, I'm going to give you two right now, Pilot and Colonial Claims. And if you go back and listen to my podcast episodes from the NACA conference, I tell you about a flood certification that is offered from the institutes for free. Is a state farm certification worth it? I've made a lot of money with state farm. Who? Let's, let's go. What other truths y'all want to hear about it? What other truths do I want to hear? Y'all want to hear about it? But what you may have to do as far as looking at yourself is you may have to move and get a different perspective and say, hey, for real, I'm really not doing what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm really holding myself back. <clears throat> it's really me. And can't nobody else tell you that. You're going to have to tell you that. Y'all, I quit my job today to go on this deployment. Jay. Jay. Jay said, I'm an owl out here. Woo! I'm an owl out here. Let me tell you, Jay, you want to hear my story about my first deployment? My first deployment, Jay. Can I tell this story real quick? And then I got to get to work, eh, Claim? I always tell y'all I'm going to work while I'm talking to y'all. So, Jay, <clears throat> I got licensed in 2017. I got licensed in 2017. I did a whole podcast episode about the Hague certification. Sean, go check out my podcast, Adjust Your Way to 100K, available on all podcast platforms. Um, So my first my, my, my first year of being licensed was, was wild. Miss Curly in this thing. Thank you, Miss Curly. Thank you, Miss Curly. I got licensed in 2017, the same week that Hurricane Harvey hit. I really thought I was going to get in on them, that storm, y'all. But I, I found out really quick. The truth, you don't even got everything that's available. You don't got everything that you need to have. You don't, you, you're not properly prepared for this. And it's a process that I was kind of feeling around in the dark to figure out what I needed to do, right? Silverback in this thing. So um, I found out I need to go get searched. Somebody else has got the book. Hit the light. Somebody got it. Yeah, so I, I didn't, Jay, look at, listen to me for real, for real. I'm about to tell you some serious stuff. I had no idea. That was you, Lord Trucker. Hit the light. The great mother is here. Lord Trucker, thank you. Thank you. So, y'all, I, I didn't, I wanted to be an adjuster. I heard that it was the person that got me in was on a deployment making 500 a day, told me she was about to leave that to go make 750. That's all I needed to hear. You ain't got to say much more to me than that. Um, but what she did not tell me is that I needed to get multiple licenses. She didn't tell me about the certs that I was going to have to get. Not that she was disclosing things. It was just, I don't think she thought I was really serious about doing it. And after you tell so many people about getting into this game as an adjuster, you kind of get burnt out on trying to explain to people what to do. That's why I put it all in a book. That's why I say, go get my book, figure it out. Because a lot of people ask you questions in silverback. Everybody can't do this. Woo. Everybody ain't an owl. Can I tell y'all that? Everybody ain't an owl. They might look like an owl. They might have feathers. They claim they might have big eyes. They got big eyes, but they ain't got the vision. Woo. 
everybody can't do it. So you get a little tired. You get a little tired of telling people about it. So <clears throat> she didn't tell me everything. And so it was a whole full year of me going and traveling to get certifications that are now offered for free online. Me having to just figure out the situation, being misdirected, taking my foot off the gas, putting it on the gas, buying licenses, deciding to go back and just go ahead and get a job in the meantime until hurricane season hits so I could really get a good chance. Because back then, there really was no chances for newbies outside of hurricane season, or at least I wasn't getting them. A clan with the knowledge I had at the time. So, Miss Cognito, 1000% correct. Uh, all certs are not free. Let me say that. And these certs being free is something new since COVID, but licenses do cost. Certifications, a lot of them are free, but there are some paid ones. There are paid certifications, but licenses, you definitely 1000% are going to have to pay for. Um, so I had to wait until hurricane season. And I was cool with that because I knew that like other things that I had done as an entrepreneur, there was no if in this situation. It was just a pure win. Just when is it going to happen? I don't know. I know it's going to happen. It's just when. And so I, I went back and I got a position. I got a job because I knew I was going to have to buy more licenses. I needed money right now. I didn't want to be worried about getting a deployment. I'm just going to keep going. And when it comes, it comes. But I was active in my search. When hurricane season hit every day, my, my daily habit was to get to my job, Log into my computer and go to the National Hurricane Center's website. Go check the weather. Go look at what's going on and call the firms. I would go into the break room and I would call the firms and see if they had anything available. I'm telling y'all a real 1,000% story. So one day in October, Hurricane Matthew was coming to Florida, a Category 3 hurricane. I called EA Renfro. Hey, I see there's a hurricane coming. I got all these accolades. Here's my information. Do you have anything available? Do you need any help? This is the most honest information I've heard thus far. Great mother. I'm telling you the truth. 1000% truth. This is what I had to go through. Like it, it was hard for me to go back and get a job after working independently for myself for five years and getting into adjusting and feeling like, man, this is really going to take off and then find out, hey, I don't have the full blueprint. I don't even have everything that I need to have. And it's like, do I give up? Or do I keep going? I've already spent money. I need to keep going. And that's what pushed me. So I went and got a job. I went to the break room in October. I said, hey, I got this. I see this hurricane coming. Do you need any help? They told me yes. Tony, what up? They told me yes. Have you put the updated version of the book out yet? No. Who? I have not. A claim. Y'all will get an email. You'll definitely know about it. A claim. <clears throat> um... I, they told me, yes, they told me right then and there, I had seconds to make a decision. You have, they told me you're going to be making $36 an hour. You have to report to Atlanta in 48 hours. You're going to be working seven twelves. Can you do it by myself in the break room at my job? I told them, yes, I didn't even know how I was going to do it. Yes, I'll be there. Cool. Send me a little email. And that was it. I called my husband, told him what was going on. He was like, yeah, you got to go affirmed it let me call my aunt see if you can stay with her in atlanta boom i went back to my desk i booked my flight from the work computer i'm serious about this and i took off for the rest of the day i went home and i packed and the next the, the very next day i got on a flight to go to atlanta that was my first deployment a few days into the deployment i saw that it was real i saw that yo this is for real they're gonna need us um all i needed was 30 days 30 days and i would have made three months worth of my salary at my job. That was enough for me to say, I'm going to take the leap. So a few days into the deployment, I was like calling off of my job and they were calling me and I just really had no time to think of a lie to figure out what to say to them. Like I was in the big red lobby trying to just taking a quick break to call them. And I just told them, Hey, I got some health issues going on. I gotta go. I gotta go. Why you got deployed? Asia literally shorty got the de got deployed with two lights. Oh, Wam is got you, got you, got you. Angles in the house. What up? What up? Um, so on my big red deployment, a few days into it, Jay, I called my job and I told him I had some health situations going on and I was gonna have to let the job go. Cause I just felt like the opportunity that I had, even if um it didn't last that long, which it didn't, it only lasted 21 days. 
but I made nine thousand dollars. <throat> Nine thousand dollars in that short amount of time, and we didn't even really do a lot. We didn't even have a lot of claims on that deployment. That's why I didn't last that long. Um, but I was hooked after that, and it made it more than worth it to quit that job. After I quit that job, I had to figure what else to do, like how to get back on another deployment. But it was worth it. I knew I just needed that little bit of experience to where now I got some experience. I'm in the game now. Now I can go get that next position, and I got it a few months later. And I've been running ever since. You just need one chance. This is your one chance. Congratulations, Jay. Congratulations to everybody that's newly deployed. So happy for you. Just need that one little taste of experience. It's going to help you out a lot. In the academy, we have a whole section about resumes. Add that deployment to your resume and start sending it out as you get the, you know, as you get on the res on the deployment and everything refresh your resume and get ready when that deployment's over to roll into something else they claim now you got experience anybody going to legion claims for the free training who who hey claim yeah that's the truth that's the truth and a lot of people get in here on their first deployment and you never know what somebody is doing somebody you may have to be leave a job you may be uh, in the gig economy for a while, trying to keep your money afloat. There's different things that people do. There's different ways in, but that's why we call it just your way to hundred K. This is all about you, all about you. I use your call to purchase adjuster pro any advice on working full time and trying to study y'all the great mother. I would say my advice is to hit it hard. Like don't try to space it out because that just takes more time and you're not going to retain the information. I would go in full blast and try to get it done. Yeah, it might be stressful for a minute, but it's best, better to go ahead and get it done and get the license out of the way. When you space it out, it'll take longer for you. That's how I got it done in a week is I just hit it hard and that's all I did. Um, but I find that people that space it out just take a couple hours here and there. It takes you longer to finish it. Crazy thing is the owl flew across my windshield last night. Woo! Wow. Any free Xactimate training out there? Aquaman, I do have some Xactimate training for you, but it's not going to be free. But let me tell you, it's going to be worth it. Go to insuranceadjusternow.com, insuranceadjusternow.com. Use my code. I'm going to save you some money on it. Use my code SD2. I'm sorry. <clears throat> code on insuranceadjusternow.com is different. SD100K. SD100K on insuranceadjusternow.com insuranceadjusternow.com. My thoughts on civility. <clears throat> I got two thoughts on civility, Sherry, and then I'm out. My thoughts on civility are this. One, insuranceadjusternow.com is going to be teaching civility. And if you take the adjuster boot camp, the property boot camp, they're going to talk about civility. If you take Xactimate training, Xactimate and civility are a lot alike. If you know Xactimate, if you know Simbility, you're going to be a superhero in this industry. That's three things I'm telling you. <laughs> if you know Xactimate and you know some Simbility, just remember this. You are a superhero. It's about the systems that you know, the licenses and the certifications. Simbility doesn't have a certification, but if you are Simbility proficient, you took Xactimate with Lauren, then you, you go, man. You already are there with Simbility. Adjuster Pro and getting licensed is the first step. Run through that. Don't delay. Get it done, Cook. Let them know. Have you heard much about Legion claims in Louisiana? Um, I've heard about Legion. They're big. I haven't heard anything negative. I'll say that. I'll say that. I've heard of Legion claims before. I have not heard anything negative A claim. I'll say that. Whoo. Any more questions, y'all? We got a live Q&A with the Academy members today at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, be there. Be square. Owls, shout out to everybody that's newly deployed. If you're nervous, if you're scared, if you don't know what to do, go get in the academy. Go get in the academy. The100kacademy.com. I took my Xactimate class with Legion. Oh, Nick took the Xactimate. See you in the academy, Angles. Aruba in January. Ooh! Jack! Scare pack. Aruba in January? You know I love me some Aruba now. I love me some Aruba. Aruba in January, Jack. I love Aruba, Jack. I love me some Aruba. I love Aruba. Aruba's beautiful. It's safe. 
The water. Can I tell y'all about the water in Aruba? The water in the ocean and the water you drink. Like the water in Aruba in the ocean, beautiful, clear. The water you drink, they call it Aruba champagne because it's so full of nutrients. It's it's the some of the cleanest water. Sherry, I'll let y'all know if I let me think about it, Jack. You ain't got to twist my arm too hard, but let me think about it. Mrs. Smith, what up? Y'all, let me roll. Let me try to get some work done here on this Friday. I wanted to come in and tell y'all a little bit of truth. Just wanted to tell y'all a little bit of truth. It's people getting deployed, A claim. If you're if you're newly deployed, congratulations to you. If you're scared, if you don't know what to do, come get in the academy. If you have not done so already, go subscribe to the podcast. Adjust your way to 100 k uh, we got a new episode that dropped today with Desiree Marie. She's also going to be in the live Q&A today for the Academy members. If you don't got my book and you're serious about being in this industry, you need to go get it. 100kadjuster.com. Um, if you're looking for Xactimate training, go see Lauren and Mr. Lorenzo, y'all. I, I, I can't say enough about them. I can't say enough about what they're doing down there. The podcast is available on all podcast platforms. Spotify, Stitcher, Google, uh, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, everywhere. Um, Lauren and Mr. Lorenzo at the Insurance Adjuster Now Academy are just, the training is is wonderful. And it's priced, y'all, to where everybody can access it. And I got a code for you to save you even more money. The code is SD100K. Y'all ain't heard this episode yet. But go to tpas, T-P-A-S dot L-L-C. There is a contents team. If you know, you know what contents is. If you know, you know, there's a content certification. And this team, Charlene, Miss Deborah, they not only teach the content certification, but after you pass, they have an independent adjusting firm. They put you in the contents jobs. Y'all going to hear about it on the podcast. Y'all going to hear about it, but get ready for it. If you go there to tpas dot LLC, they got a content certification coming up in July. Use my code. Gonna save you, it's gonna save you a nice amount on this. SD 100 k is the code for tpass.llc. Y'all, holla at y'all later. I'm listening to the podcast as I'm working. Get it done, Seth. I'll see you tonight on the live QA Academy members. Y'all have a great day. A claim. Choir, take us out of here. Take us out, choir. Happy Friday, everybody. If you got any other questions, hit me up. Info at 100kadjuster.com. I'll holler at y'all later. See you, Seth. See you, Charisma. The Great Mother. Podcast is available on all podcast platforms. Adjust your way to 100K. Woo! See you, Nick. See you, Ann Gooks. See you, Miss Paisley. Tony, I'll holler at you. MG, go get in the academy. Timba, congratulations. Third Eye, appreciate you. See you, Ann Gooks. Scat Pack. Let me think about this Aruba thing, Scat Pack. Let me think on it. Let me think on it. <laughs> See you, Charisma. Have a good one, y'all. Have a great day. See y'all in the academy. <laughs>